I talk and I talk, but guess what? I back it up. They know who's running the game, so any chance they get, they mention my name. The whole roster wants a piece. And the whole roster will get a piece. Introducing the notorious one! division world champion i'm gonna go and i'm gonna get them two belts take out two divisions if anyone can do it it's me you're blessed that i chose you you're blessed that i chose to whoop your ass next next fight will be in defense of his lightweight title but against whom that's the question he's got 10 wins in a row he's the obvious choice for the next challenge for conor mcgregor versus tony ferguson that's the most relevant conor mcgregor tony ferguson let's unify these belts and give the fans the fight they want to see all right coming up next it's a ufc heavyweight showdown This guy's wrestling is really high level. He's got the collegiate credentials to prove it. And even when the opponent knows what's coming, hard to stuff that shot. Got to figure it'll be takedowns in bunches out of him tonight. This guy's an excellent grappler. What he wants to do here is get this fight, maybe press his opponent up against the cage, bring the fight to the ground, use his ground and pound and his submission skills. So here he is, really, for my money, as accomplished a submission specialist and Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner as has crossed into the UFC in years. We'll see how quickly tonight he can get this fight to the ground and utilize his high-level submission skills. Outstanding choke game. A lot of different chokes in his repertoire. We'll see if he can get him going tonight. This guy is a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist. His submissions are incredibly technical, and he chains them one after the other. You defend one, he attacks with another. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Three years apart, some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a grappler, making his professional debut here tonight. He's at 62 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting in St. Petersburg, Russia, the cooler. And now it's going to see the opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, downtown. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliotta. Dan Mergliotta, your referee. You ready? You ready? And we are underway. Caught him with a punch. Kick lands. 
And he doesn't get it. That landed. Immediately shoots for the leg. First takedown attempt is there. Oh, he got reversed. There's a nice right hand. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. So some clinch work early as they close distance. The battle for hooks continues. He's got double under hooks now. And he lands a hammer fist. Back up to his feet again. Not much behind the takedown offering there. And he lands a single leg takedown. Oh, he connects there. Oh, he gets reversed. Inside control. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Over, under, now in the clinch. Oh, he pummels. Now he's got double underhooks, Joe. There he goes. Gets the takedown. And back up again. And there's a single attempt. Yeah, and here he goes again. And he gets the takedown again. Good punch. And he's gonna try to take the back. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's in half guard. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Beautiful reversal. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Slides him over, and nice reversal here. He's back to side control. Look at that transition. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Right hand forward now, switching to southpaw. Oh, man. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Now he's in half guard. 10 seconds now to go in the round. The horn oh, sounds oh, oh, for the oh, end oh, of the oh, round. Oh. Here's a nasty ground and pound strike. And here is another ground and pound strike. And here's another powerful ground and pound strike. That was some amazing ground and pound on display. Brittany Palmer in the building. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? All right, here we go with round two. Nice. Well, he's got a strong jab. Miss with it there, though, Joe. The kick lands. Now he goes for the single leg. And here's a takedown. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's got a clinch. Good scramble. Double under hooks in the clinch. Uh, there's a trip to get the takedown. He's looking to take the back. They're inside control. And he pummels out of it. Double underhooks. All right, 
So he lands another takedown now, and these are really starting to add up. He's already landed several in the round, and really doing a great job not telegraphing his shot. The opponent doesn't know what's coming, and again ends up on his back. Exactly. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Excellent movement here on the ground. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Nice combination of strikes from the full guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Nice sweep. Reversal here, and in the full guard. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Good ground and pound. Transitions himself to half guard. And he gets reversed. Into full guard. Nice reversal. That's a big shot right there. Good shot to the head. Seconds remain in the round. Looks like he's gonna attack that arm. He's got the leg across the face. He wants to get his opponent flat on his back here. He wants to lean back and break that arm free. Wow, that was close. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. Third round underway. Look at that. Nice. And he scores the double leg takedown. It's damaging strike there. He passes to half guard. And he reverses position. Full mount. He hits him with a hammer fist. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Now he's in guard. He's trying to take the back here. He got tagged there. He's now working from full guard. Nice shot to the head. Oh, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe, as he tags him with that punch. He tries to pass here, but gets shut down. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Nice right hand. Very nice. Beautifully executed sweep. Very nice sweep winds up in his opponent's guard. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Trying to spin to the back. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Oh, in reverse. Got side control. Look at this. Locks it into position. Turns towards his opponent. Secures his body. He got and it. He got it. 
nicely done. He got choked, didn't tap in time, and went out. Yeah, great job executing the submission in that fight, Joe. Really excellent work, not just with the setup, but with the transitions and top-level technique to ultimately get the finish and put his opponent unconscious. And here's the end. And one last time, super tight choke, and he's out. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 55 seconds with round number three. Declaring the winner by submission due to a ghost choke, downtown. So there he is, your winner by way of submission, and how good was that? I mean, you talk about maximizing a UFC showcase, and that's a great example of doing just that. You see him sharing a moment here with his coaches, his training partners, and you can be sure that with the hard work done and the hay in the barn, that these guys are going to be